Welcome to part six, our final part of our Tai Chi series. In today's video, we will warm up, we will look at our final set of movements, then we'll look at how to perform every single movement together, and then we'll cool down. Now, in this video today, we have a little look at some of the movements that we did in video number five, and also video number four but we perform them facing a different direction and travelling a different way. So if you don't yet feel confident with these movements from video number four or video number five, please leave this video right now, learn those movements, and when you feel comfortable with them, come back to video number six so that everything will work better for you. Let's begin with our 12 Tai Chi warm-up exercises to promote great mobility through each of the major joints of the body. We start with the neck. Raise your arms. Bring your fingertips in towards your chest. Push away. And allow the arms to float back down. As you bring your fingertips in towards your chest, tuck in your chin. Tilt your head slightly. As you push your hands away, lift the head. Only ever move through what feels like it's a comfortable range of movement for you. Try not to put your joints through any movements or positions that don't feel right for you. Our next warm-up exercise promotes rotation through the neck. Raise the arm. Gaze through the fingertips as your arm moves out to the side, allowing your head to turn. Change hands. You might feel as though you can only move your head through a short distance. You might feel that you can turn your head a little further. Again, just whatever feels right for you. Throughout each of these movements, just breathe normally. Once more. From our neck, we now move to our shoulders. Start with small shoulder rolls. If you feel comfortable with this, you might even want to start to make the shoulder circles a little bigger. From here, start to create small circles of the arms. Bring the arms up. Bring the arms over and into the middle. And slowly down. Keep the chest lifted. Keep the stomach muscles switched on. From our neck and our shoulders, we now move to our back. Imagine that you're placing one hand on top of a ball. Imagine that you're placing your hand underneath. Turn the body to one side. And then change the position of the hand so that now the other hand is on top. This promotes great mobility through our spine. Your spine is a series of 33 discs, one on top of the other. So now we're promoting the release of synovial fluid in between the joints. And it's this increase in synovial fluid that helps us to move better. So there's one of the many benefits of Tai Chi. It doesn't matter where you finish or which hand is now on top. Push that one towards the ceiling and the other hand towards the floor. Change.
This feels great. It's a lengthening, stretching sensation. Once more. And then just relax. Now might be an opportunity to just sit down and take a minute if you feel uncomfortable, stood up for long periods of time. Grab a drink, of course. So there's the warm up for our upper body. Now let's look at the next six movements, which are for the joints of the lower body. We'll look at promoting great mobility through the hips, great mobility through the knees, and then we finish with our ankles and our feet. Transfer your body weight so it's just into one leg. That will allow you now to freely move the other. Place the heel forwards and the toe backwards. The heel forwards and the toe back. This could be done holding onto something if you don't feel as though you've got great balance. And when you feel comfortable or confident and ready, as the toes go back, raise your arms forwards. As the heel goes forwards, the arms come down. Another great benefit of Tai Chi, balance, coordination. These are what we call our motor skills. Now before that feels uncomfortable on the supporting leg, just relax. <clears throat> now let's change over. Of course, you could do this lower body only and just focus on the movement through the legs Focus on the balance. If you do feel comfortable, you bring in the arms. So it's always about what feels right for you. These movements can be performed sat down, holding on to something, or standing freely. The hip joint moves in many different directions. Now let's move side to side. Transfer your body weight into one leg. Take the other toe out and in. Change. And then the other side. Again, this could be lower body only. If you feel comfortable, if you feel confident, as the toe goes out, Just gently push the hands in the opposite direction. Out and in. Out and in. There's two mobility exercises for the hips. Now we start to promote mobility through the knee. Make two very gentle fists. Take a very small step forwards. As the body weight transfers forwards, punch the opposite hand. Change. Punch the opposite hand. As you transfer the body weight forwards, that starts to stimulate the muscles of the legs. These don't have to be performed fast. There's no real intensity behind the movements. This is all about mobility. For the next movement, it will require a degree of balance. So if you don't feel comfortable, you can carry on stepping and punching. For those of you that would like to try, transfer the body weight into one foot. A small kick, as if it were towards somebody's shin. Then we change over, and we do exactly the same on the other. Now of course, this could be performed legs only. If you do feel as though you'd like to try a little bit more, as one foot kicks, the other arm punches forwards 
And again, here's that awareness of our balance and our coordination. And finally, the feet. The toe, the heel. And just repeat that a few times on one side. Change over. Back to the other leg again. But this time, little toe, big toe. Little toe, and big toe. Change over. And there's our 12 Tai Chi warm-up exercises. Let's have a little look at our first movement. I'll face this way because it's a movement that you already know. Open hands. From here, it's the brush knee. Now, because this is a movement that you already know, as you did it traveling this way, today we don't need to break it down in as much detail, as we simply take what we already know and transfer it the other way. I'll turn around so that you can see. Here's what it looks like. The brush knee. Let's try this together. With the body weight in your right leg, extend your left arm forwards as you turn your left toes in. As you transfer your body weight back into the left leg and start to position your right arm forwards in line with the left elbow, you're turning your right heel Take a small quarter turning step with the right foot, brush past the thigh with the palm pointing down, rotate the hips and the body to turn around and face the other direction as you push your left palm forwards and follow step. Let's try that again. Extend the left arm turning the left toes in. Extend the right arm, turning the right heel in. Small quarter turning step with the brush and the push and follow step. Our next movement is playing the lute. This is what it looks like. Practice that together. Take a small step back with your left foot and draw your left arm in. As the body weight moves back into that left leg, extend the right arm, follow step as you position your left hand just in line with the right elbow. Let's try that again once more. Step back left, draw left arm in, extend right arm up, follow step. Our next movement is parry and punch. Here's what it looks like. You may remember that this is quite a complex movement, so pause this video as many times as you need to and rewind it until you feel comfortable. Let's try it together. As you take your first step with your right foot and your toes turn out ever so slightly, roll your right arm 
over the top slightly and your left hand underneath. Small step, toes turned out, right foot, roll the right arm over and push the left palm forwards. As you take your left step, toes turned out slightly, roll the left arm over the top, body weight moves forward and push the right palm forwards in front. As we take our third and final step with the right foot, the toes are forwards, make a right arm block, a left fist, punch, and follow step. Our next movement, block and close. This is what it looks like. Let's try that together. Take a really small step back with the left foot. Open the fingertips, separate the hands. Body weight transfers back into the left leg. Draw the elbows past the side of the waist and follow step. We finish with both hands pointing forwards, just outside in the front of the chest. And now, our final movement, push the mountain. Here's what it looks like. Let's try that together. Take a step forwards with the right foot as the body weight transfers forward, push both hands in front. Follow step. Turn the body to face the front of the room, turning the left heel in, turning the right toes in, and relax. While we're here, let's just remind ourselves of the position of the feet in that final move, push the mountain. You'll remember from our last video, it would be great if we could finish with both heels a little closer together, toes turned out ever so slightly. If that's uncomfortable on your joints or you feel that it may cause you to lose your balance, don't worry if your feet are forwards, whatever feels right for you. Let's now have a little look at all of our movements that we've looked at today. Open hands, brush knee, play the lute, parry and punch, block and close, push the mountains. Let's try those together now. <clears throat> we open hands, brush knee, Extend left arm, turn left toes in. Extend right arm, turn right heel in. Small quarter turning step, brush past the knee, and push. Playing the loop, small step back, left foot. Draw left arm in, extend right arm up, and follow step. Parry and punch, step right, pushing left palm forwards and under. Step left, pushing right palm forwards and under. Step right, making the block, the fist, the punch, and follow step. Block and close, open the fingertips, step back left, separate the hands, and follow step. Push the mountain, step right, push, Follow step. Turn the left heel in. Turn the body. Turn the right toes in. And relax. So now, let's take every single movement from all of our Tai Chi videos over the last few weeks We'll start with the commencement form from week number one and we'll finish with push the mountains that we've just had a look at a second ago. So come and join in with me now 
as I talk through each of the movements in sequence. The commencement form, with the palms facing in towards each other, raise the arms, allow them to float back down. As you lift your left heel, lift your arms, take a small step and push the hands forwards. Follow step and draw the hands back in. Open hand. Single whip. Turn the right heel in, take a small step, push the palms forwards, open the hands and gaze over the top of the left fingertips. Waving hands in the cloud, bring the right foot in, bring the right arm in. Step, change hands and move or turn the body across. Step, change hands and turn. Do that twice more. Last time, step, change hands and move. Step, change hands and move. Both hands in front of the chest. We open hands. Single whip. Step left, push both palms forwards, looking over the top of the right fingertips this time. Step left foot in. Waving hands in the clouds, we step, change hands and move, and we repeat that three times. Last time. Open hands. The brush knee. Turn the right toes in as you extend the right arm. Left heel in as you extend left. Brush and push. Playing the loops. Parry and punch. Step left, pushing the right palm under. Step right, pushing the left palm under. We make our block as we step with the left foot. And we punch. Block and close. Step back right. Pushing the mountain. Brush knee. Left arm extends. Left toes turning. Right arm extends. Brush. And push. Playing the loops. Step back left. Carry and punch, step right, push the left hand under, step left, push the right hand under, we block, we punch, block and close, step back, pushing the mountain, Now one final time, we'll perform every single movement from start to finish, only this time I won't guide or talk you through them. Come and join me now.
And there we go. Let's begin our Tai Chi cool down exercises. Small circles of the arms breathing in and breathing out. You can take these movements to where they feel comfortable for you. The circles of your arms may be a little smaller. The circles of your arms may be a little bigger. Now, just allow the back of the hand to fall onto the thigh. Remember to breathe throughout each of these movements. Just relax. These movements could be performed stood up. These movements could be performed sat down. You may want to hold on to something for a little balance. Bring the hands across the chest, making two gentle fists. Breathe in. And breathe out and gently just open the fingers. Breathe in. And breathe out. And just relax. As always, we finish our Tai Chi session making a gentle fist, an open palm, and a bow. Thank you everybody. I really hope that you've enjoyed this Tai Chi series. If you've not yet had a little look at our other videos, why not have a little look now on the LiveWire YouTube channel. While the facilities have been closed, our lifestyles team have still been supporting the people of Warrington with our stop smoking service, our weight management service, and our exercise service. So if there is any advice or information that you'd still like or any support from our lifestyles team, please drop us an email. The email address is lifestyles at livewirewarrington.org. We'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.